greetings to our, greetings to our viewers and listeners at this time we'll have prayer by brother luce heavenly father thank you for this opportunity to share your word via this platform lord we just pray that as we open the word you will open our minds as we share and that our audience those people sitting on youtube right now watching this program will be receptive and blessed amen. by amen. the words that we are about to share amen amen amen, amen. thank amen. you brother lutz for that very inspiring and edifying pro at this time i'd like to welcome all viewers and listeners to the faith empowered program being brought to you by the loving heart advent ministry we feel very blessed and privileged to sh share with you all viewers and listeners an enlightening pr program of our health feature and our bible presentation we pray that it would open your eyes and help you to discern the truths that are so hidden as gems in the Bible and that it would assist you to connect with Christ, our Lord and Savior. So if you never had faith or even if you lost your faith, may faith empowered assist you to renew your faith and connect with Christ, our Lord and Savior. At this time, I'd like to introduce our panel for today. On today's program, we have Brother Opong, who will be doing the health feature. We have Brother Lutz, who will be doing our Bible presentation. We also have Brother Lee, who will be doing one of our Bible presentation, and Sister Donna, who will be doing our special item. At this time, I'd like to remind our viewers and listeners that we are here for you. If you need prayer for any issue, feel free to call us on 07-951-745. 003 or write to us at 30 Surrey Towers, Adelston, KT152NH. And now we'll be presented with our health feature by Brother Opong. We pray that it e equips you and empowers you to make better choices. Amen. Amen. Okay. you see my screen? Yes. Good. Yes, okay. yes. Good evening, viewers and listeners. Um, it's a privilege to meet here tonight and to learn some of the benefits that we have in the vegetables that we find on the markets. And today, I'm going to present to you some of the health benefits um, of beetroot. Um, I think you can see the color. That is how it is. Beetroot. Um, it is a root vegetable and it resembles turnips. And the scientific name for beetroot is beta vulgaris. And it has the following uh, properties um, beetroot is an antioxidant. And then it is anti inflammatory, it is anti tumor, and it is anti hypertensive. Mm -hmm. And it is hypoglycemic. Anything anti fights against cancer. So uh, anti means it fights against something, sorry. Anything anti <laughs> fights against something. So antioxidant fights against free radicals to improve our immune system. Anti-inflammatory fights against any inflammation in the body. Anti-tumor fights against any tumor or cancer in the body. Anti-hypertensive fights against hypertension or high blood pressure. And hypoglycemic means it lowers blood sugar levels. 
Amen. So these are some of the benefits or property properties that we have in beetroot. We say shades of beetroot or different categories of beetroot. We have the shogia or the candy lane, candy cane beetroot. We've got the golden beetroot. We've got white a beetroot and looks like turnip, but it is a beetroot or the same. Then we got one called famenola, which is a beetroot type of beetroot. Then we got the Lutz green leaf beetroot. So these are all types of uh, beetroots. I think the type we have here in the United Kingdom is the one with the deep red color, um, which, 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 which is very common here. Um, how is it consumed? How is beetroot eaten? It can be eaten raw in its natural form. It can be cooked, it can be pickled, it can be juiced into smoothies, or it can be used as artificial coloring, or it can be dried and eaten as uh, chips. Yeah. So these are some of the means Amen. by which we can consume beetroot. And any of them is, is good. Okay, these are some of the health ben benefits. Already we have talked about the anti-cancer, anti-tumor, anti-hypertensive, and then hypoglycemic and all that, fighting against something. Okay, deep root has got a very unique color and the pigment which gives the deep red color is called beta signing. Beta signing, that is the pigment which gives the beetroot its deep red color. And it is, it is called the king of the, of the vegetables, but because if you cook beetroot with any vegetable, it will dominate it. The color will dominate any, any kind of beetroot that you cook with it. So true. Yeah. And betacinin is a powerful antioxidant which fights against cancer formation. And then it also particularly helps with prevent colon cancer, in particular colon cancer. Okay. And these are some of the benefits as well. Beetroots are high in nitrates to provide long lasting energy for enhanced cardiovascular health and exercise. So by eating beetroot, you get the energy and it also helps the heart. It, um, it is loaded with iron for proper oxygen transport and preventing iron deficiency anemia. Go different types of anemia. But iron deficiency anemia means you are low in hemoglobin and that there's low uh, percentage of oxygen circulating in the blood. That will make you tired. As soon as you walk for a few distances, you climb the stairs, you become tired because you are anemic and you need more hemoglobin. It also contains an antioxidant called betalain, which protects our cells from damage and prevents cancer. Beetroots contain vitamin A for proper eyesight and preventing night blindness, vitamin A. Um, it is high in fiber for a healthy digestive system that prevents constipation and irritable bowel syndrome or IBS and also reduces the risk of colon diseases. Fiber, enough fiber in our diet helps uh, with digestion and then prevents constipation. Beet um, beetroots are great sources of plant-based protein, which are essential for the growth and development of all body tissues. The proteins are necessary. We get protein from meat, we get pro protein from beans and other food sources, but beetroot contain plant-based protein. Um, Beetroots are loaded with folic acid, and folic acid is required during pregnancy for the ladies for the growth and development of the, the baby or the embryos. At the same time, it is rich in calcium, and calcium is a mineral necessary for the development and maintenance of strong bones, and then preventing osteoporosis or weak bones. So if a lady is pregnant and she eats folic uh, beetroot, she gets calcium, she gets folic acid, and she gets iron at the same time Amen. from the same from, from the one uh, vegetable that she eats. And all these are necessary, are important for the baby to be born. 
Okay. It is high in folate that supports red blood cell growth and to prevent anemia. I think I've said that already. And it contains potassium and the potassium helps the nerves and the muscles to function properly. Yeah. And then contains betaine. That's another uh, pigment, which is a nutrient important for our heart, our heart health, cardiovascular health. Amen. So to sum up, the juice is a natural remedy for sexual weakness. And uh, it eliminates kidney and bladder stones as well. The juice, I mean, after boiling beetroot, the juice do not throw it away because it's very good for, the, for, the, for our health. The father of medicines, Hippocrates, recommended the leaves. The leaves of beetroot is good for healing of wounds, stubborn wounds. The leaves are very good for that. And the pigment that gives the red color, you remember the beta signing in beetroot is a natural alternative to commercial food coloring. So some of these drinks that you see with the color, with the beta name color, beta signing color, uh, are from, derived from beetroot. And let me end up by giving you this uh, purple juice or uh, smoothies. Get some beetroot, get some carrots, some apples, and a, a, a piece of pear, lemon juice, ginger, and then blend it all into a smoothie. Very nutritious, Amen. very nutritious, very, very healthy for you. Drink it in the morning, you stay healthy, you stay satisfied, and then in the evening, you can drink it at any time. Put them in plastic bottles, store them in the fridge, and then take them in the morning, afternoon, evening. This is a very good uh, smoothie, uh, and I recommend it to you. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Brother Opong. That was so loaded with lots of information. And I have highlights I take away is that beetroot, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. Yeah. Very good for pregnant ladies as it has folic acid, protein, calcium, yeah. and all the necessary things for the newborn. Yeah. So we have been empowered today by this very important health feature. I pray our viewing audience take this very important information on board and apply it to their lives and be equipped to make that difference. Amen? Amen. Amen. At Amen. this time, at this time, we will <clears throat> be blessed with our health presentation. We are studying the sacred scriptures. We are looking at how the scriptures were given and who they spoke of and what were they called. And today, our first question will be going to Brother Lutz. Brother Lutz, how were the scriptures given? You are muted, brother. You thank you. Hello and hello everyone, and what a great pleasure to be with you. How great it is to be there to share from the Bible about the Bible. You know the, the this question that 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 we're gonna explore now. How were well the scriptures given? is really uh, to define our stance of how do we actually approach the Bible. And we actually uh, understand that the Bible is not like any other book. Actually, when we think about how were the scriptures given, we actually already realize that if something, something is given, then it has a source somewhere else than in well in, our, in ourselves there is a giver and a receiver and we want to start our, our journey here in 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 where it reads that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine 
for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. As I said, all scripture is given. That means scripture is not internal, Amen. not self-created by people, people. It is actually external, received from an outside source. And in this case, God. And you might notice that at this time, even though that this, this, this one verse is packed of information, I'm actually just focusing on the, of the first part of this, of this verse, where it says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God. And again, that what we've read means to us, to me, that we have a scripture is not incidental, it's not accidental, but it is intentional. Amen. And you don't have to simply take my word for it, because in the end, what we're trying, what, 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 what we're doing in this program, we let the Bible speak. And first, and, and, and the second book of Peter, and in the first chapter in verse 21, tells us again that the prophecy came not in old time by the will of men, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Again, again, we see that prophecy came and holy men of God spoke as they were moved, implying again an outside influence. Here the Holy Ghost being inspired by it. And, and who were those holy men? Those holy men, as we understand it from the, from the book of Hebrews in chapter 1, the first verse, where it says that God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. God, God spoke through his prophets. Persons called by God for a specific well, work or ministry. God was the author of the message, but the prophet was, re was responsible for the faithful delivery of the message. As we can also see, and hear, one of, one of those prophets, the prophet Jeremiah, say in, his, say, say in his own words, when we look at Jeremiah 2, verses 1 and 2, but Jeremiah writes that, Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus says the Lord, I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousals, when thou wentest after me in the wilderness, in a land that was not sown. What Amen. the focus here on is that Jeremiah says, the word of the Lord came to me. With other words, Jeremiah did not make the message up himself. And that it's actually ba based on what thus says the Lord. Jeremiah is just relaying the message in his own words that God gave him. And God is not only active in giving or the, or the Holy Ghost is not inspiring only messages to, 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 to us, but actually when we open to 2 Samuel 23 verse 2, where the author of a vast majority of the Psalms says this, the spirit of the Lord spake by me and his word was in my tongue. It tells us that, you know what, the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, as, as, as it says today, was and is deeply involved in even bringing praises to God. Even in us offering our prayers to God, as Romans 8.26 broadly paraphrased says that we don't even know how to pray or what to pray for. But the Holy Ghost makes intercession for us with groanings that we cannot utter. Amen. Yeah. When writing the Psalms, David did so with the guidance or the inspiration of the Holy Ghost to give proper, to give honest praises to God. 
How then should we, should we, you and I, receive the word of God today? How, how should we approach the Bible? A very good answer to this question, a very good guidance to this question is found in 1 Thessalonians verses, uh, chapter 2, verse 13. Paul writing to the church of Thessalonica, For this cause, although thank we God without ceasing, because when ye received the word of God, which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of man, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. Simply put, Amen. the Bible is the literal word of God, written by people, for people, so that it speaks to people and people can understand it. The message, however, comes from God alone. Now, as you open the Bible with us, do not treat it similar to count the self-help book, self books on, on, on the shelves of, of a book dealer. Don't treat it as a book of philosophy, something that you can argue with to take on the, 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 the portions you like and discard what you don't like. The Bible is God's love letter to you and to me. Receive Amen. it as such. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Well said, my brother. Amen. Lutz, we have been enriched. Some points I'd like to take away here. Yes, Jeremiah said the word came to him. He, it, he didn't, it didn't originate with him. And he said... It is not the word of man, it is the word of God. The message comes from God. Amen? So the Bible is also not to be treated like a book of philosophy, like some storybook, like some novel. This is special, and we need to treat the Bible special. It is a light onto our part. So I pray our viewers and listeners have been empowered and blessed by this very edifying message. Amen. Amen. And at this time, we'll have... Donna, are you able to sing? No, sis, it's okay. not today. Okay. Yes, yeah, she has some um, things, something that's preventing her from singing. So at this time, I'd like to remind our viewers and listeners that we are here for you. If you need assistance or if you need further prayer for any issue, please feel free to call to us or write to us on 07-591-745-003 or please write to us at 30 Surrey Towers, Adliston, KT152NH. This now brings our program to a close. We'll now do so by closing prayer, so let's pray. Holy Father, we thank you for equipping and empowering each of us to bring your word. Thank you for viewers and listeners. We pray that your Holy Spirit convict and convince those who have been listening to be closer drawn to you. Forgive us, Lord, where we have urge in thought, word, and deed. We just want to thank you for loving us. Help us as we all surrender and do your will, that we would all be saved in your kingdom when you come again. This is my humble prayer in no other name, but the worthy name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 So we just want to thank our viewers and listeners for tuning in to our program. And we pray that you would keep focused on our program and be connected to Christ as we continue our series. So God bless and goodbye. Thank you. St you can stop the video now. Stop recording now.